Hey, good people, and welcome to the introduction to sociology. I will be your instructor for this course, and my name is Yvette Madison, professor of social work here at Pennsylvania Highlands Community College. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and kind of walk through some important things that I want you to be mindful of during this first week of the semester as we begin this journey in sociology together. Again, my name is Yvette Madison, Professor of Social Work here at Pennsylvania Highlands Community College. I have been uh, here at the Community College as a faculty member uh, 21 years now, um, since January of uh, 2003, started as an adjunct and came on full time in August of 2004. But I'm only 28 years old, y'all. Mm. Anyway... <laughs> Um, I have my bachelor's degree in psychology from Seton Hill University and my master's in social work from the University of Pittsburgh School of Social Work uh, in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> excuse me, the disciplines that I teach in here at the community college are sociology and social work. Uh, so here at, in this course, I should say, we are going to be challenging ourselves to think about what we're thinking about when it comes down to how society functions, mm -hmm. how it functions as a whole, how it functions in part, and how it functions based on the perspective of maybe some target populations or individuals within our society. So we're going to be learning about three very specific paradigm uh, throughout this semester, and we're going to be introduced to those in chapter one. So not this week, but next week when we begin the readings and the assignments, you're going to see that there's three very specific paradigm that I want you to pay attention to, and that will be repeated all throughout this semester. But to begin for this week, where I want you to start is in becoming familiar with the course layout uh, on the college's learning management system. Now, you will see that this course is laid out in some very specific modules, uh, and the modules are identified by week and or topic. So the very first module that I want you to look at is the module entitled Course Syllabus. When you visit this module, you're going to find some very specific and important information. You're going to find, first, number one, the syllabus for this course. Along with that, you're going to find the syllabus addendum. Now, the syllabus addendum is very important because in that uh, document, I'm reviewing what the requirements are in order for you to be successful in this course. Please be mindful on that addendum. It states very clearly that there are no late assignments accepted. There are no extensions for any of the exams that we have in this course. So please be mindful of that, good people, and make sure that you... <clears throat> excuse me, that you take a look at the posted due dates for all of the assignments in this course. They will be available within each module. You'll see the due date as well as you'll see the due date on your to-do list in this course. Now, going back to the course schedule mod, or I'm sorry, course syllabus module, along with the syllabus and the syllabus addendum, you will find a course schedule, which will kind of let you know the, the topics and the chapters that we'll be going through uh, throughout each week. And then you're also going to find information on the college's academic integrity policy. Now, I put that policy in there because it is very, very important, good people, that you have an understanding of what your responsibilities are as a student here at the community college. Now, one of the things that is uh, that's kind of new on the scene, not new, 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 but new somewhat, is the use of AI, artificial intelligence, in completing assignments. I want to be upfront with you and let you know that it is clearly stated on the syllabus addendum that you are not permitted to use AI to complete any of the assignments or tasks for this course. That means you cannot use AI in your discussion post. You cannot use AI with any of the assignments that are given to you, any of the writing assignments, because I want you to use your smarticles. I bet you didn't see that one coming. I want you to think about what you're thinking about, good people. And I really want you to consider your experiences along with some of the theories, the theoretical information and the paradigm that's discussed in the chapters and how do you make sense of it? So that's gonna be kind of the basis behind the assignments and the exams that we take in this course. So that's the first module I want you to look at. The second module is the module that is entitled Welcome Start Here. In this module, you're going to have some specific information on what's required of you when participating on the discussion board 
and also when submitting assignments. Again, late assignments are not accepted. So please be mindful of that. Be mindful also when you're submitting your assignments to have them uh, submitted as a Word document file or a PDF. Please, good people, please do not submit it as a Google Doc because I can't open Google Docs and you'll get a zero on that, on that assignment. So please be mindful of that. With your discussion post, you are required, good people, to have a minimum of three separate posts. With those three posts, your first post is going to be you addressing one of the questions or topics that I've posted in the discussion board. And then you are required to address two posts from your peers. That's your three posts, and that would meet your requirement. Now, if you want to address more than one of the questions that I have posted in the discussion board, by all means, feel free to do so, but you're only required to do one, okay? Now, the other module that I just want to bring to your attention is the one that is entitled Student Resources, and that module is just going to have some additional information there for you in regards to online tutoring um, APA formatting, uh, and other resources, not just beneficial for this course, but for other courses that you may take here at the community college. Oh, and when I talk about the resources, let me go back, good people, to the Welcome Start Here module. Just real quickly as a um, uh, a reminder, there are two tutorials in that module that I want you to complete. One tutorial on plagiarism and one tutorial on using the college's library system. This is just to kind of help prepare you so when we get ready to do your writing assignments and your research assignments that you're familiar with the resources and the requirements, especially APA formatting um, that is required in this course. My office hours will be posted under the instructor's uh, information on the home page of this course. So when you're on the home page, if you scroll down and you look on your right hand side, you'll see the instructor's contact information and my office hours. Now, I do want to tell you, good people, that my office hours that are posted, that does not mean that that's the only time you can contact me. With this being an online course, I realize that flexibility is the key. And so if there is a day and time that you would like to meet with me via Zoom or communicate uh, by email or by phone, and if it falls outside of my office hours, I will do my best to get back in contact with you as quickly as possible. Um, like I said, though, my office hours are not limited to just what's there. So I will try my best to contact you. And if we need to meet by Zoom, then I will send you a Zoom link and we'll get together uh, and talk about whatever your questions or concerns may be. All right, good people. That's my little spiel for right now. Again, my name is Yvette Madison, professor of social work, and I am your instructor for this journey through the introduction to sociology. So at this point, I'm going to invite you to take a look at the uh, course syllabus module and the welcome start here module and introduce yourself on that welcome discussion post uh, so that we all kind of have an idea of who each other may be while we're in this class and on this journey together. All right, y'all. I bid you love, peace, and bacon grease. I will see you on the discussion post.